You found me as I'm setting out, despite chilly temperatures, to explore the truly cool Queen Street West neighborhood. It's early March and I've returned to Toronto, Canada. My goal? Finding some food and craft beer to wash it down. Joining me at a neat brewery is Sarah, a good friend of mine from university and a local musician. Day two brings more food as I visit the city's historic distillery district for Mexican cuisine and the St. Lawrence Market. Welcome back to another uh, special episode of Traveling with Crashworth. I'm back in Toronto. Yeah, you can see City Hall in the background. It's very cool. And actually, this is going to be a food-themed video, and I'm going to Bellwoods Brewery. It's going to be amazing, and I'll show you all the adventure on the way there. Knowing me, there's going to be lots. All right, see you later. Queen Street West pulses with activity. It's a vibrant mix of bars, live music venues, restaurants, and eclectic finds. On this street, you'll find all walks of life. I'll just continue freezing my buns off and uh, showing you all the sights, but yeah, it's, uh, it's cold. Look all around you. Queen Street West is a center of urban art. As you can see, I have found a really special part of Toronto. Uh, this place is called Graffiti Alley and uh, if I was here a couple of years ago I would have seen the one and only Rick Mercer along here because this is where he did the Rick Mercer Report rants and Canadians know these as something very special. All right it's amazing and but I have to let you go it's new battery time. If you're dining out in the city this neighborhood comes with numerous surprises, from amazing streets perfect for walking to concert hotspots and city parks. Just past Trinity Bellwoods Park. It's amazing. This side of Toronto has all kinds of shops and stores and cafes. It's uh, really quite trendy along here. If you come here, you gotta come see this part. It's very cool. All right, so the brewery I'm coming to is um, apparently just a couple blocks ahead. And so yeah, there's gonna be some great food, some beer, mm. and yeah, can't wait to uh, bring you along. Searching out a great night in Toronto? Do I have the place for you? Beers brimming with hops through to IPAs and everything in between awaited us at the award-winning Bellwoods Brewery. It's a much-talked-about spot, perfect no matter the weather. I'm walking towards a cultural district walled in by Victorian industrial buildings. It's the Gooderham and Warts Distillery National Historic Site of Canada, and it's cool. The city's heritage value is on showcase, meshing with a transformed, dynamite place for art galleries, culture, and a gathering place for residents. Myself, I came here for food. As one of the best Mexican restaurants in the city, and with one of Mexico City's top chefs at the helm, El Catrin Destilleria answered my need for authentic and modern cuisine. Colors, flavors, and overall ambiance come together like partners in a lively dance. My meal was delicious. I'll definitely be back to try some tequila and an evening on the patio. The St. Lawrence Market has been at the neighborhood's heart since 1803. You can't talk about food culture in Toronto without this iconic complex. It's encoded in the city's DNA. Fruits, vegetables, meats, fish, dairy products, the South Market has all of this plus more. As people, we change, yet this site has and will always be a gathering place. That's been the same since the market opened more than 200 years ago. There's always a reason to return to Toronto, and one of mine is the Saturday Farmer's Market. Thanks for watching Traveling with Crushworth. For more Toronto, click the link on the left. My Canada playlist is the video on the right. 
Do you have memories of the city or its food culture? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching and see you next time.